How to fill out the customs declaration form. Filling out the custom declaration form accurately is very important. Your package cannot be processed further until this form is filled out. You can fill it out yourself or you can request that we fill it out for you for a fee. In order for us to fill it out, you must include an invoice. If no invoice is included, then we cannot complete the request. You will first log into your account and go to the Action Required tab. You will see all of your packages that have been checked into your account and need custom declaration forms. You will click Provide Custom Declaration. This form must be filled out in English. If you would like us to fill it out for you and have provided an invoice, click Fill Customs Declaration for me. We will start filling it out. The first section is, how would you describe the contents of this package? We have three options here. The first one is personal merchandise. This means you bought the product and you are shipping it to yourself or to someone else. The second option is business merchandise. This is when you purchase something for your business or organization. The last option is gift. You will select this option if someone else purchased the item for you. Section 2. Please check the boxes that apply to any items in the package. This is really important to check the right boxes to make sure your package is processed correctly. If it isn't processed correctly, the package could get returned to us and you would need to ship it out again at your cost. If your package contains perfume, nail polish, or flammables, you will need to check that box. If your package contains alcoholic beverages, you will need to check this box. If there is a lithium ion battery packed inside the equipment, you will need to check this box. That means that the battery is already inside the device. If there is a lithium ion battery packed with the equipment, you will need to check this box. This means that the battery is not installed in the device. If you have any questions about what items can ship to your home address, Watch the video linked in the description below to learn more about prohibited and limited items. Third section, you will list each item in English here. If you don't know how to write it in English, refer to the invoice item description. Be as descriptive as possible. Say you have three items. You have a cell phone, a t-shirt, and a polo shirt. You will type the kind of cell phone here, how much you paid for it in US dollars, this value must be greater than one dollar, and how many of the item there are. So if you are shipping two of the same cell phone, you would put a two here, but we only have one. Then you will add t-shirt and put how much you paid for it in US dollars, and a one because we only have one t-shirt. Finally, you will add the polo shirt. It is really important that you put the correct price. The price declared should match your invoice. If something happens to your package and you have delivery insurance and file a claim, the price will need to match the invoice. Last section. You will need to check a box saying that you understand that the declared value of your item is for insurance purposes and customs. The second box is agreeing to obey the U.S. government regulations. Once you have checked both these boxes, you can save. Now your package will move to the Ready to Ship tab. You can request mail out or add any additional requests at this time. If you want to learn more about special requests, please watch our next video. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy your new U.S. address. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, share with your friends, and contact us with any questions. See you next time.